Today's bodyweight workout is gonna have two parts, okay? The first one is gonna be a Turkish get up. We're gonna be doing three sets of 10 to 12, and we can use something light like a shoe or even like a dry erase marker or anything. Basically, we're just gonna be really challenging this range of motion as much as possible. Then, after that, we have five rounds. It's gonna be one minute on with two minutes off. The minute is gonna begin with 10 tuck jumps as fast and as hard as possible. And then you can do as many reps in the remaining time of hand release push-ups, okay? There's gonna be five rounds here. We're gonna be looking really to kind of like push that first piece, those tuck jumps as fast as possible, and then accumulate as, much, as many reps as possible of those hand release push-ups as you can. You can also elevate that handstand or that push up to some sort of, um, you know, onto a box or a chair just to kind of increase the range or to keep the range of motion and allow you to basically just be able to move steady and keep that moving. All right, and keep, keep the intensity high. First one we're gonna go over is gonna be the Turkish get up. So we can use a shoe here, pressing it straight up, elbow up. The leg that's closest to the shoulder is what's gonna be down here. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is drive up and kind of come up to the, the arm, good. And then from here, we pivot the leg back to the knee, keeping that pressing straight up. And then we're gonna get straight now and then stand. And then we reverse that. So the opposite leg goes down, hand goes down, leg goes through, sitting back and down. Now we'll do all on one side before switching sides. We're gonna show one more, but this time, I'm gonna have Ashley just put it and try to balance it on your knuckles. Okay, so this can really kind of keep you from cheating. All right, we'll see how straight up and down she can keep this thing as we go, okay? So we're already looking at it. We're gonna press up, nice and slow. Oh, good. And then she's gonna stand. And look at that balance. Okay, we're not gonna make her redo that going back down, but that looked pretty good. Okay, so you can definitely add a little variance to this. And the real thing is, is like if we do have that balancing, it'll actually allow us to really train that range of motion. Now the next move we're gonna go over is gonna be that tuck jump. Okay, so we're gonna start out just jumping up, bringing the knees high, the squat, and then bring the knees up, okay? And one more. Good, another thing you can do is just a jumping squat. So we can just squat down and jump. Yep, just leaving the ground if that feels a little bit better, okay? Once you finish that, we're moving into that hand release push up. So we're gonna go down, everything's flat, picking the hands up and then pressing back up, coming up in that nice straight plank position. Okay, perfect. And we can go to the knees, same thing. And again, just kind of finding whatever variation of that will allow you to move quickly, okay? So again, guys, we want to think about that first part, just kind of practicing that Turkish get up, you know, and, and have some fun with, with the family. You know, you're hanging out, like see, see if the kids can do it, just holding a, a marker or something like that. But really work on the points of performance there as far as like how to get up and back down. And then on that second piece, you can really try to push that intensity and maximize the amount of work in that one minute. And we'll rest two minutes and we'll repeat that five times.